All right, y'all. How we doing tonight? I think the stream should be working all right. Got a little surprise stream action coming from coming uh, coming on a Tuesday night that I'm excited for. Wasn't planning on doing this, but thought I would uh, do it just out of the blue. Have a little bit of fun. Play the the max semifinal for y'all tonight. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. I know it's a little bit late, a little bit later than my normal stream time, but I'm excited for this. Also, you may have noticed I boosted the quality up a little bit. So I'm hoping the switch to 1080p doesn't backfire. I originally tried doing the streams in 1080p, and it became a little bit of an issue. Um, all of a sudden, we just had some crazy lag. But I think, potentially, I might have that issue sorted out. So... Hopefully I do. Hopefully we don't have any issues tonight. If we do find ourselves with the laggy stream, I will turn it off um, and we can go back to, to 720p. Um, but with that said, I don't have too much to to kind of get into besides the game. But we're gonna be play, we're gonna be playing Northern Illinois tonight. A little bit of a rematch from last week. Last week's win. Obviously this game was a little simulated. This game was simulated, rather. Um, didn't play it. Drew had a big game, a huge game. Those are Oscar Shibway rebounding numbers right there. But we we're playing them in the tournament. Obviously, stakes are a little bit higher. So we're going to try to win, keep our season alive. I don't think we're getting in that large bid at uh, 20 and 10. Northern Illinois finished second in the MAC at 16 and 12. I guess we can look into what their record looked like before we jump into the game. Appreciate everybody for joining tonight. Excited to have you all in here. Feel free to say what's up in the chat. But if I can find where I'm going. Looks like they have a, uh, not the best team, good center. Their season didn't start off too hot. A lot of losses in the non-conference. They played Michigan too. They slapped, they got slapped just as bad as we did. Lost to Lamar, and some ugly losses. But then once we got in the conference, they just kind of found their rhythm. Finishing second. So, all right. Let's not dilly dally around. Let's play this game. I think we're going to be the away team. Yep. Got that lineup set just, just how we want it. Let's get right into it. Eastern Michigan versus the Northern Illinois Hus Huskies. Huskies. I should know that. That's like 30 minutes from where I grew up. Hopefully the stream doesn't start lagging out. It's not looking like there's issues on my end right now, but the, you know they can always pop up a little bit later. But I'm excited to be doing it in a little bit higher quality for you guys. It was it's kind of bumming me out, but I you know. What are we now? Nine episodes, ten episodes in? I thought I could try to raise it again. So. The boys are looking good at warm-ups. Got a packed house for us today. Lots of NIU fans. I don't think there's actually that many NIU fans in real life. All right. Jump ball. Yep, we don't win. When do we ever? All right. Oh, Ricky gets stuck. It's going to be an over the back. Good way to start the first possession, avoiding that tip in. Let's see what we got. Ricky. 
Ricky to the hoop. All right, we're getting the foul. That's two fouls on Holloway already. I believe he's the center, their best player. We'll check on that here in a second. They're going to bring him out. Yep. So two fouls on their best player in 30 seconds. Here we go, Rick. He's starting us off strong. Hold on while I uh, turn down my ring light. I don't think I need it as bright. A little nighttime stream. I don't have to worry as much about the shadows. All right, TJ, getting fouled. I like that take. Probably, probably want to finish that one inside, but okay, release slightly early. That one felt good to me. Slightly early again, but that one is nothing but net. I feel like with all these zones that these teams throw at us, like maybe we should run a little more zone. It like automatically calls defenses for me, so I'll throw us in a zone. And then the Oh. Drew, a little fade away from the post. Can't get it to go. Maybe next time we go down the floor, we'll throw a little 1-3-1 one, one or something crazy at him. There we go, Drew. Wide open. That's the shot we like. He's got a nice stroke. There we go, Drew. Now he's getting the turnaround to go. Oh, Ricky with the fade. Not the shot coach wanted. All right, they're just kind of slowly moving the, the ball around the perimeter here. There we go. Ricky to the rim. Getting fouled. He's done a good job of that here early. Honestly, the whole team has.
Oh, free throws, kind of our kind of our weakness. One or two. All right, one three one zone. Oh. Oh, bad foul by Drew. Bad foul. But we are nearly five minutes into the game, and Northern Illinois got two points. I was going to say make that four, but... Some tough interior defense from the Eagles. Not not tough interior rebounding though. You give them five opportunities, they'll score. You can say that pretty confident about most groups. Ricky, Pull, letting it rip. Oh man, we can't get a board to save our lives. Get in there. Open look. Nothing doing. Oh, good foul. Good foul. I think it's time to make some quick adjustments here. If y'all got recommendations, feel free to put them in the chat. We're not rebounding. Let's make a change there. Let's bring in some size. Intentional alley oop, quite frankly. You got to release the post up.
Got to release the post up before throwing the pass. Otherwise, it's an alley-oop. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. And that time, it worked. <laughs> that was awesome. It's the little things like that that make this game fun. All right, Jalen. Jalen on a little mini run of his own with two dunks. Points of emphasis. Ball control. I haven't really found anybody yet. We need double team. Maybe the big man in the middle, but so far he's got two fouls. Here we go, Seth, taking it inside. Getting some penetration. Perfect release. Man, our free throw shooting is going to kill us eventually. There we go. Seth thought he got fouled. I don't know how he came up with that ball. Oh. Bounced right up off the back of the rim. Great take. Yes, sir. And one. Got the lane. Took advantage. That's what we like to see. Another miss from the line. Looks like they're going to call it out on us. That was an interesting little sequence. Here we go. Here we go, Mr. Sykes. Fill up, pull up. TJ can't get it to go. Not the best interior finisher. Coach is going to call timeout. 
Little timeout. Let's bring the starters back in the game. I'm going to take McBride out of this uh, little quick starting lineup. But this is the group we're going to roll with. Oh, TJ. Can't finish again. Let's slow this down. Oh. Oh. Got me jumping. Easy layup. Or press in next possession. Why not? Oh, no. Ricky just can't make a shot sometimes. And for somebody who's supposed to be a three-point shooter, it's just, it's pretty bad. Okay, I like this lineup. I don't know if we're going to be able to rebound, but... Got some scoring, got some defense. So far, so good on the rebounding. Yes, sir. Let's go, Seth. Getting the lay to go. Oh, Max can't finish. Two minutes remaining. Then he commits a frustration foul. That's his second personal foul. Fourteen foul. Substitution on the court. Let's put Jalen Monk in the game. I think he's earned the opportunity to play a little bit more. Oh, they're going to give it to us. Great finish by Seth. I thought they might call that one on the floor. That happens far too often. Did not happen on that possession. And he makes the free throw. Thank you, Seth.
This is a mismatch right here. And that's also a mismatch. Well. Oh, just throwing it away. That's never what you want to see. That one doesn't go. Great shot by Max. I think his foe's on the line. But we'll take that. I think we may have overpressed a little bit. I'm going to turn it off to start the second half. Maybe we'll go back to it towards the uh, end of the game. Four seconds. Fill up with the good contest. Your halftime score is 27-20. Eagles on top here in the MAC semifinals. I would say good, not great first half. Not our best. Far from our worst. Big opportunity to improve in the second half, though. Seth had a nice first half. They shot it horrible. We didn't shoot it well either. Threes weren't going in. Ricky could not make a shot. We're going to give him a little bit of an opportunity here in the second half to make up for it. But the leash is going to be short. There we go. Good defense on the break. Oh, another turnover. Oh, getting the roll. Almost another turnover. Ricky driving it. Nope. Can't get the little off balance floater to go. Not the way we really want to start this first half. Ooh. Quick little shot from Drew, can't go. Good rebound from Seth. Ricky quickly pulls. He has not made a shot all day. He's had a hard time making shots all season. Coach is going to call timeout. 
Bad start to the first half. Not the start we wanted to see. We're going to pull Ricky from the game. I don't know if we're going to see him again. Got to go with guys we trust. I think Phillips earned more playing time. And I want to see what he can bring to the table. There we go, Philip. Making an impression fell early. <sighs> That's what we needed. Little spark plug. Oh, how did that one fall? It just climbed the rim. Seth, I like that one. Oh, good cross. Oh, nice little reverse. Spinning off the post up. It's a one-point game. There we go. Philip making that impression felt. Little throwback pass into the deep two. Oh, NIU making his presence felt inside. Oh, block shot. Max to the rim. They're not going to give him that one on the shot, but... Oh, swatted into the first row of seats. Ricky getting another opportunity and forcing one up. What is new? Getting one wide open. Still can't make it. Maybe his confidence is just gone. Could be that I just don't know his release. But I just keep trying to shoot it at the top of it. All right, and I use in front. I think we need to make some subs. I liked what Philip was doing. Coaching staff decided to take him out. I'm going to make the executive decision and put him back in the game. Drew, we're going to move him up a, a position.
Drew pulling the three. Not going to fall. Take, let's go. JC McBride on the finish. Running the court hard. And your Eagles are back on top. Ricky getting back cut. It's not what you want to see, man. Not making shots and not committing on the defensive end. There we go, Drew. Screen roll. Good way to get him involved. Don't go to take the charge, man. Try to block the shot. That's what you're in there for. Ends up being a decent foul. I mean, he only hit one or two. Oh, Max gets stripped. He's slow to get up. He's had uh, one too many turnovers today. Look inside. B.A. Making up for the soft foul on the other end. All right. Max Schroh getting manhandled in the post. Oh, stripped. Can't be having that. Pull up three on the break. Not going to go. There we go, Phillip. Big dunk to even it up. Big poster. Oh, nice move from Holloway. Come on, guard him. You gotta make him pay, Philip. Oh. Holloway making it look easy inside. Oh, and Drew getting tagged with the foul. I don't know about that. All right, time to lock in. No. Those are absolutely not the changes I want to see, Coach. 
I don't care how tired the group is. We just got smaller. There we go. Nice little cut to the rim off the screen. Dakari making plays when we need him. Might need to start doubling Holloway in the post. It was really nice when we didn't have to deal with him in the first half. There we go. Come on, finish. <sighs> all right. I'll take that shot on us all day. Seth, and one. What a great time for an and one. Getting to the short corner, cutting underneath a little reverse lay. That's what we like to see. Timely and timely free throw. And another timely basket to take the lead. I didn't know if that one was going to go. Great steal from Ricky. Alright, we're calling timeout. Points of emphasis. This one's easy. Defense. I said it was easy and then I had to think about it. I almost went rebounding. Subs. I think we got to go with this group. I mean, this is the group that makes the most sense to me. The They've been playing the best. TJ went for it. That would have been Sports Center all time top 10 right there. Okay, release makes the free throw. And Holloway is coming back into the game. They need him. And he makes both. Second one wasn't pretty. And the Eagles got him by three. We're not going to make any changes. We are going to double hallway in the paint, though. Let's see how he passes out of those double teams. Oh, they're going to. We almost got a steal. And we do get a steal. Up the floor. Nope. Can't convert. All 
All right, let's slow it up. Oh my goodness. We can't finish. I thought we had an easy finish right there. Easy two points. We can't convert. And now it's a tie game. That is not what you want to see. There we go. There we go. BA making up for it. Huge dunk. And he makes the free throw. Massive and one. Redemption. All right. Nice pass and cut. Still clinging on to a one point lead. Max to the basket. Gets his own miss. Gets his own miss again. Takes it out. He missed the put back once. And there is TJ Blue. They totally lost him. Oh, they're trying to get the ball to the hallway in a hurry. Oh, my goodness. What a huge and one. What a huge and one. All right, we're going to bring in Ricky Ray, but just for this offensive possession. Big free throw miss. Massive free throw miss. And we're going to take our time now. Oh, no. And hey, TJ puts it up and in. Following his own miss. Making the harder lay. And that's what we like to see. All right. I don't want Ricky in for the defensive possession. I think this is a... Opportunity for... Some of our defensive specialists to... Uh, make an impact. Oh! And we almost had the steal. Almost had the steal. That pretty much... That would have gone a long way towards sealing the game. Drew getting a tip. All right. They need a three here. Oh. We left him wide open. That's not a three, though. And now we got, a fr we got the rebound. And that is four on Salazar. And only their fifth team foul. We're going to call timeout. We're going to move Schroeder to the two. We're just going to try to put the ball in Ricky's hands every single possession. All right. 
and Salazar is out of the game. Okay, that's what I was looking to do. Thought I had an opportunity to potentially foul him out. All right. Now Ricky's going to go to the line. A little one and one. There we go. Makes the first. Big, big make. Doesn't make both, though. It's still in reach. And Max is just about seals it with the hammer dunk. They were trying to foul. They couldn't catch up. With under 10 seconds left. Six point game. This one looks just about over. Let's put the defensive lineup out on the floor. Oh, they didn't really rush to get a three off. Point one on the clock, and that is going to end the game. We just had to inbound it. Your Eagles are moving on to the MAC final. We'll see in a second who they play next. 58-55 Eagles over the Northern Illinois Huskies. Massive result for the squad. And in this first season, we are going to the MAC championship game. That one was dicey at points. I think the game is spot on. TJ Blue, definitely the player of the game because he came up huge down the stretch. I hope they show that and one he had as well. But massive, massive performance when we needed it most. Did not shoot the ball well. Northern Illinois shot it much better in the second half. One for 13 on threes. You don't win very many basketball games shooting it like that. We have gone ice cold from the three-point line. I think the key to this win was holding Scotty Holloway to, to eight points, five rebounds. He only had 14 minutes because of foul trouble. But that's a huge accomplishment right there. By far their best player. As far as our team, Seth had 15. Probably should have shot more threes when we were struggling from three. Drew had seven. TJ had seven. I think five of which came in the last minute and a half. Phillip had, had a big six off the bench. Really came in. Was a bit of a spark plug. Jalen Monk had a nice sequence there in the first half. Probably should have played him more down the stretch. Max, five assists, five turnovers. Not his best day. Ricky, not even close to his best day. 0 for 5 from 3. I'm going to have to check on his confidence after a game like that. But with that, your boys are moving on. And that all but spells says the end of Northern Illinois season. Ricky Ray, he's an 80 from three. Drew's better. It could just be me not having his release. Still average nine on the year. Anyways, the boys are moving on to the MAC championship, and let's see who we're going to play. Miami of Ohio. All right. Let's real quick go in, see who they had to play to get here. So they beat Central Michigan, so we don't have to play Central Michigan again. We also don't get the opportunity to avenge that terrible performance 
that we had against them in the second to last week of the season where we they doubled us up very nearly. We played horrible. But we don't have to play them again. Man, their small forward went off for near 30. Almost single-handedly carried them to the win. Much more balanced scoring effort from the Red Hawks. Let's see where their talent is. Their small forward is pretty good. Their power forward is pretty good. Their center had 20. His overall is not the best I've ever seen, but they are going to be a challenge. I don't have any emails. Real quick, I want to check. I didn't even realize there was bracketology. Okay, we will be checking that. Let's check the polls. See if there's any surprises. Florida is the best team in the country. Wisconsin, North Carolina, Nevada is up there. Air Force, a surprise. All the way up to five in the polls. That's interesting. Belmont. They've had some good teams. But number number nine. Haven't seen that before. And they were four. I wonder if they lost in the conference tournament. Okay, yeah, they lost in the conference tournament. So I'd assume they get an at-large. But... Nobody from the MAC as of right now. No huge disparities in the coaches' poll. Let's uh, take a look at this mid major poll. Let's see if we make an appearance anywhere. Miami is 14. And we are nowhere to be seen. I find that a little bit surprising, but. It is what it is. The pollsters hate us. Nobody cares to see team stats. I guess we can go in and see where our guys kind of ranked in the MAC. When it was all said and done for the year. So at the end of the year, Drew Schroeder just off the front page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tenth highest scoring player in the MAC at 13 points per game. Max right in there. The 14th leading scorer. We shared the load a lot. Seth up at 16. Yeah, I mean. Looks like Scotty Holloway was the leading scorer. And we held him to, to 8. I'll take that as a victory. As for rebounding. Where did our top rebounder come in? Drew, number 10. Just off the front page again. And it looks like he's he wasn't playing the minutes per game. Some of these guys at the top were. Assists per game. Max Schroeder up there. I think that's eighth. Steals per game. Max leading the league. Blocks per game. Oh, I wonder. All right. Little Schroeder. Turnovers per game. I wouldn't be surprised if Max is up here. No. Unless I missed him. Didn't see him. Oh, we can look at some of the percentages. Field goal percentage. Max, 48%. Three-point percentage. Drew, up above 40 Seth, very, very close to 40. Free throw percentage. I'm just nerding out right now. We're nowhere near the top of this. Our top, TJ, 79%. Good to see. All right. 
I guess we can look at our roster. See the scoring picture a little bit. Big drop off after TJ. I guess that makes sense. Poor Tremaine Galloway. Never got to play. I couldn't figure out how to get him out of the reserve. I did want to use him. But it just didn't work. Couldn't figure it out. You can't assign players minutes in this game. It's, I think we missed that. I think in 2K8 you can. We missed it by a year. Drew Schroeder. Rebounds. TJ up there. Assists. Got some good numbers. Numbers to build on. I mean... We're not losing a whole lot of our scoring. Just TJ. Mainly. And Raheem. Didn't play a lot. Tremaine who never played. Pretty low. Pretty low minutes leader. All right. Before this conference championship game, why don't we take a quick look at the bracketology? And where we might fall if we make the tournament. I'm going to assume we're not going to get an at large. I'm just going to assume that. It'd be pretty unrealistic if we did. Okay, I don't think we're in the Worcester regional. Not in the San Antonio regional. Not. Okay. So it looks like they're predicting Ohio. If I remember correctly. We're not playing Ohio. So maybe they have Ohio as an at-large. Could that be? Nine seed at-large? Or is it just that this is not updated? That could be too. But your one seeds are looking like Florida, UNC. Wisconsin and Nevada. A little bit of a surprise one seed. Yeah, I'm not seeing us or Miami. Unless I'm just blind. Not the easiest screen to read. Let's look at the bubble watch. Just out of curiosity. All right. RPI Ohio, right? Solidly on the bubble. Miami of Ohio also on the bubble. Michigan on the bubble. Indiana, the last team in that group. Nebraska even. Pretty solid bubble teams. Two teams from the MAC, I believe. But... All right, y'all. With that, I am going to save the dynasty. That's pretty much it for the stream. What I got planned for next time, and no, it is not going to be tomorrow night. I'm going on vacation. Sorry I neglected to mention that last night. So we're going to have to wait until I get back. I get back Monday night. So probably not going to have a weekend stream either. You can count that one out. You can officially count out the weekend stream. Um, but I will be back next week, and I will make it up to you. We'll play the MAC Championship. We'll watch Selection Sunday. And I think I might make the NCAA tournament game, if we happen to get there, its own event. So we'll play a game. We'll watch the Selection Show. And then uh, depending on what happens after that, it will either be NCAA tournament 
or off season or I guess maybe the NIT. I uh, I don't know if that's possible, but if it is, it'll be fun. We're not gonna make a huge deal about being an NIT team, but. Yeah, so appreciate you guys joining in tonight. I had a ton of fun streaming. Once again, always enjoy doing this and having you guys hopefully enjoy the content. I will see you guys in about a week. And until then, peace.